I'm Ty West, and this is Trailers from Hell, and I'm going to be talking about Birth by Jonathan Glazer. I had not seen Sexy Beasts. I had heard all about it. People seemed to really like it. And the first film of him I saw was Birth. And I didn't quite know what to expect. It, it looked like um, the marketing of the movie was sort of like vague and, and seemed like almost like a period piece. And so I went to see it on a whim just because I heard it was good. And I was, it was one of those great theatrical experiences where I didn't know anything about a movie and I was just totally riveted by it. And it felt like this very traditional, like, cinema, like it was like a traditional storytelling. And what was so moving to me about it is that it was a movie that took a premise that was impossible and then made it like a reality to where these characters had to deal with it. And I found it totally compelling. I felt it reminded me of like Polanski's early movies. And it's not a horror movie per se, but to me it's as much suspense and it's as much on the edge of my seat I've been in probably years going to the movies. And I was just totally enthralled by this film. And, you know, to this day, I'm, I'm just, out of all his movies, I think he's a really interesting filmmaker. But this movie, I think, is, is really his, his masterpiece. I really love this movie. And what I found out is, like, after I decided that I really liked the movie, I went to see if other people really liked the movie. And I found out that not a lot of people do. And that it was pretty universally panned, so much so that it was booed at its premiere at Venice. Um, which to me is like a really odd, I don't know, booing a movie in general just seems sort of pointless. But I think that the fact that people seem to resist it so much was really interesting to me because it made me think about like, well, then where does my taste lie in like, it, could I be that esoteric that this movie that I thought was really terrific, most people think is um, bad. But then it kind of reminded me like that everything's subjective and it's sort of irrelevant what other people think of it. And I think that it's a provocative movie and so I think that's polarizing and I think what's interesting to me is, and it's very odd to say this about this movie, um, and a bit twisted perhaps, but it's as compelling as a love story as I've maybe ever seen. In that it's, it's this movie about this woman who thinks or doesn't believe but is meant to eventually believe that this child is her reincarnated husband and how complicated it is to deal with in that like she really just wants to experience that love with her husband again but it's this little kid and that's an unrealistic unbelievable scenario and how complicated that is and it kind of to me speaks to how powerful love can be in a very extreme circumstance and I think that's that's really interesting to me the best movies there's what happens in the movie and what the movie is about and that's ultimately what this movie is about to me and also, just from a cinematic experience, the, the scene in the bathroom is as provocative as anything I'd seen in a long time, and it, it really had my sort of jaw on the floor. And there's an amazing two-minute shot of her at the symphony that is like kind of represents the whole film.